every day 200 pedestrians are killed or injured. Walking can be safe. Follow the signals. Start crossing. Watch for turning cars. Don't start, finish if crossing. Don't cross. It could save your life. Please, look for pedestrians. Stop for them. Think of the impact you could make. We're at L.C. Allen High School, where the Lobos are getting set to play their first Sonoma County League basketball game in school history. Tonight, they take on the El Molino Lions. El Molino coming off a loss to Sonoma in their Sonoma County League opener for 2013. Both teams hoping to pick up a win here tonight and gain a little more momentum as the season carries on. We go to the first quarter action. Both teams off to a slow start as the defenses dominate. Finally, Joe Hoop comes up with a steal and a lay-in to give L.C. Allen the lead two minutes into the first quarter. Now the shot from the outside, no good, but the offensive rebound by Kyle Kehoe for El Molino, and he gives the Lions a 6-2 lead. El Molino up 9-2, and Jesus Manzo changes that as he bangs one home from the outside. That's a three to make it 9-5, and Ruben Knowles making his return to L.C. Allen, the former coach here for the Lobos, now coaching El Molino. L.C. Allen trying to press here, but El Molino beats it. Albert Beltran takes the pass, and he attacks at the other end with the lay-in, and El Molino was on a roll, but the Lobos would get hot toward the end of the quarter nights. Pass from Angel Sanchez to sophomore Jalen Busby. He lays it in to make it 12 to 11, L.C. Allen by one. But Louis Ramponi with the drive and dish as the quarter comes to an end. Connor Smith hits the three, and El Molino takes a 14 to 12 lead after one. To the second quarter now, and it's Prince Batar. He drives the lane, makes a nice dish inside to Kendi Connolly Stewart, and he lays it in. Nice pass now by Gennaro De La Cruz to Jalen Busby, and Busby makes the tough shot. It's 20 to 18, Elmo by two. Under three and a half to go now, and it's Jesse Fishman taking the pass, finding the lane, and laying it in strong for the Lions as El Molino goes up by four. But Jonathan Altamirano changes that. He makes a nice little pump fake and then drives to the lane. It's 22-20, El Molino with a minute and 30 left in the third. But the lob over the top inside to Kyle Keough from Fishman, and El Molino leads it 24 to 20 at the half. To the third quarter and it's Jesse Fishman making a play again as he stops, steps back and hits the jump shot to make it 26 to 22. Now L.C. Allen able to penetrate the zone as Busby kicks it out to Hoop who hits a three and it's 26 to 25 here in the third quarter. But El Molino gets a big offensive rebound. Kyle Keough, he goes up strong with the basket and the foul. It's 28-25 Lions. Their crowd feeling good about that. But then Louis Ramponi, who hadn't shot much up until now, hits a big three-point shot for El Molino. The Lions get on a roll. They go down low this time. It's Travis McClintock in the post, and he scores on the turnaround. Now it's Ramponi again. He's feeling it. And that one is good. Ramponi with a couple of threes, and it's a nine-point lead. The freshman, Gage Smith, misses this one, but Hoop is right there to tap it in as L.C. Allen tries to hang in there. It's 42-31. to 31. Tough shot here by Nathan Berry. He takes the pass from Prince Batar and gets it to drop. 140 to go, still a double-digit lead, and there's Ramponi. He scores 11 points in the third quarter, and it's a 49-32 to 32 lead for the Lions going into the final eight minutes. Albert Beltran now. He takes the cross court pass and calmly hits the bottom of the net for El Molino. Now it's Beltran with the steals. He steps in front of this pass and slides it over to Prince Batar who lays it in. Batar would finish with eight points on the night for El Molino. The lead is 21 for El Molino but L.C. Allen fights hard to the end. Here's Jesus Manzo getting that one to drop then it's Ho up from the outside, and he gets the roll to make the final score 58 to 43. El Molino winning their first league game of the year. Louis Ramponi, our player of the game tonight. Nice uh, win here on the road. Uh, tell us what was the key to victory tonight. Uh, we just executed well. We they pressed us. We got to the press well. Yeah. 
It was a little wild and woolly. Both teams were pressing a lot. Yeah, yeah. What do you try to do to keep things in control as a point guard when things are getting a little crazy like that? Uh, I just try to keep the ball in the big guy's hands, you know. Uh, <laughs> try to keep the ball in my hands and just break the press and get, get everyone ready. You made some big shots tonight. Do you think of yourself as a scorer or more of a distributor in the offense? Uh, try to just get the offense ready, and then if I need to score, I'll score. But I don't force, like, force shots up. So with league play just getting started, how do you feel the team's progressing? You guys have had some good wins. You've had some low spots also. How do you guys feel like you're progressing and getting ready for the rest of the SCL? Uh, we had a we lost to Sonoma. That was a big loss. But we play well today, and hopefully we can keep this up and start a win streak. All right, well, congratulations on the win tonight, and good luck the rest of the way. All right.